Hey, Boo Bears, what's going on? Um, you're hanging out with me. We're gonna do some wings, some chicken wings, okay? So what I've done is I already washed them off and you put vinegar in them just and let it like marinate for like 15 minutes. Not really marinating, you're sanitizing because the wings have probably been in the packet for a day or two. So you already know, it's kind of like low bacteria on there. So you wanna sanitize them with the vinegar and then you wanna wash them off thoroughly after they've soaked in the vinegar for like about just 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so. All right, so I have some of the old fashioned in the game. My friends will tell you I make the best wings and I'm gonna give you my little secret that I learned from my grandmother, okay? So my grandma would make food and it was so amazing. And I would just always be like, grandma, what is in there? And she'd be like, oh, it's just a little secret or something like that. So then I was like, you know what? The devil is a lie. I'm about to go sit in that kitchen and act like I'm talking to her so I could learn. And so I just saw where she kept some of her secret seasonings because her friends and family would come over and look in the can like, girl, what is in these greens? Stop playing with me. Okay, so... um. I'll give you the secrets at the end. Now, we're gonna go to an old fashioned, no MSG added, but Laurie seasoning salt. I know it's bad for you, but baby, this is what I'm putting on these wings, okay? So you, you spread them out lightly everywhere, and then I'm gonna flip it with this because I don't like to touch my seasonings and raw meat. I'm just very weird like that. So we're gonna do another light seasoning on the other side. Now, I don't know who this heifer is, Mrs. Dash. But she's been around for years. I don't know. We ain't met her. We haven't met Jenny Craig. I still don't know who that heifer is. Um, who who's the one who's the one that everybody go to for the drugs, the drug rehabilitation? I forget it. But it, it's a name that everybody goes to for drug rehabilitation. I'm like, well, who is this heifer? So we can put some Mrs. Dash seasoning saw, some paprika. Put some paprika. We're seasoning these jokers, okay? Now, this is what it looks like. When the doves cry, dun, 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 Now, you usually cook, dance when, when the food is done. But who dance when they're cooking? Because I know it's going to taste good. That's the thing. My friends be like, what did you put on these? Okay, so we're mixing them up. Now, it's going to just be a flavor festival in your mouth. We're going to put some cumin. Now, this is where we go. The cumin. Just a little. Just a little. We're not going to flip it on both sides because cumin can be overpowering. But what we're going to do with that cumin is we're going to put some curry. We're going to counter offer it with some curry. Now, we're going to put a lot of curry on there. Curry, 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 now, we're going to throw some sea salt, some pink Himalayan sea salt on there. Now, that's going to offset that curry and that cumin. That curry and that cumin. Say again, curry and that cumin. That curry and that cumin. Say it again, curry and that cumin. That curry and that cumin. That curry and that... Just two. That's it. That's all you need, pumpkin lamb. Now, let's get it. This is what Graham did. Some masala. We're gonna make it a little bit masala. Just put it right in there. And then to make it stick, this is what they mean when they say that dry rub. This that dry rub, this that dry rub, baby. And you're gonna put some oregano, not basil. You put some basil in there, I will follow you home and kill you in your sleep. Stop playing with me, okay? Okay, we just wanna put some oregano. How much oregano? I don't know. Just do it to your heart's content. We're going to mix all this around. Oh, just a little pepper. A little pepper. I prefer the brown pe ground pepper like the um, Himalayan sea salt, but we don't have it. Okay, so we're going to mix all this around. Now, it's pretty dry, actually. Look at it. Mmm, I wish you could smell it. it smells divine. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little olive oil because don't nobody want no dry butt wings and I don't like them when they're moist and I like them a little crispy. Okay, so here, just a couple of more seasonings. So we're gonna do some more dash, 
some garlic powder. I know you like, baby. Did you just mix everything in your cabinet? No, actually, I have about 400 other seasonings. These are just the ones that go together. Okay. How you gonna tell me and I'm telling you? Some more oregano. And just maybe a little seasoning. So, a little. There we go. Okay. Olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. I don't know what extra virgin mean. I guess it hasn't had sex twice. Who knows? Extra virgin. You're gonna just do it like that, okay? Don't make it too moist because you don't want the seasonings to fall off. You just want it being moist enough, okay? And then you mix it like this. See, see it's still, still dry. All right, so we're gonna put them in the air fryer. Put these chokers in the air fryer. And then we're gonna let them cook 20 minutes on one side, 20 minutes on the other side for crispness or to your liking. Some people don't like them crisp, some people like them crisp, but here we are. There, we'll do it here. This is the air fryer. All right. So you should see how it looks. 20 minutes on one side. Flip them. 20 minutes on the other side. Or I may just do them on 15 and 15, but no, it should be 20 and 20. All right, guys. Do we are. So we're not going to do this for the whole 40 minutes. So what I would recommend is you come back and see part two. Once the wings are done. All right. Um, catch part two once the wings are done. I'll see you. Peace.